Hey guys. <clears throat> I'll wait for people to start kind of coming in. I'll get my stuff together here. This is always the awkward time when there's no one, so you're talking to yourself basically. However, that's what I do when I record videos anyway, but I picture you guys, so it's different, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just start getting ready. And then we'll chat as people come in. Again, I'm doing this at a really weird time because it's 11 o'clock on a Monday morning. And that's kind of a weird time to do a live. And I know last time there weren't a lot of people that came in on it, but that's okay. I get to just do it when I can, and this just happened to work out. So, so that's what I'm doing. Hello, Sherry. I'm so glad you're here. <clears throat> I'm getting ready. I'm going to use my... ABH Sultry palette. I've been trying to pull out some of these palettes that I haven't been using in a long time and try to love them again because I've been feeling a little uninspired by them. So that's just kind of kind of what I'm doing here. How have you been? You have plans for Thanksgiving or anything like that coming up? It's hard to keep an eye on like if people are commenting and I'm doing really well. Thank you. I've been like cracking up at stuff all morning. Hey Jen, good to see you. I've been having like a hilarious morning of just dumb things like, thank you. I just changed it around. So you're getting a little sneak peek of some of the Christmas stuff I put up. I didn't turn the lights on, but in uh, videos that I'll be recording, I'll have them on. Um, I've just had like... <laughs> really dumb things happening this morning and it's kind of cracking me up and my hair is highly uncooperative today I've curled it twice it's just like stringy I put some um like volumizing spray in it but I think because my hair is so thin it actually like weighed it down and it just made it extra stringy so that's pretty so I'm just working with it because after curling it the second time I was like I'm not doing this again <laughs> hey Melissa yay I'm so excited that you caught one of my lives. It's a weird time, like I get it. So I don't know what the best times are, but I'm gonna guess like in the morning hours on Mondays are the best. Staying home for Thanksgiving? That's relaxing, that doesn't sound bad to me. Aw, do you have heavier hair? No, your hair isn't super thick though, is it, right? Cause I know like my youngest sister has really thick hair. Her hair is beautiful, but it's really straight. Like she has a really hard time getting it to hold curl. And, but I'm like, I'd take her hair any day over mine. Hers is beautiful. Okay, yours is super thick. Yeah, it's like if you have thick hair, curl does not want to hold. My hair usually holds curl really, really well. Like, so I don't really understand what's happening. But I think it's because of that spray, actually. And it's second day hair, which usually works better. Like, I usually can make it do more. But not today. You know why? Because I'm trying to get ready to, like, go out with my husband. That's why. Like, it can't work. My hair is super frizzy. Like, people have been coming into work and going, oh, you have your hair down. You're, I never see you with your hair down. I'm like, because it's not hot out anymore, and so I can actually wear my hair down. Because in the summer, no, it's bad. I don't even know what I'm doing with this look or this palette. I'm just trying to come up with something. So, basically what's happening today is um, my husband, <laughs> one of the funny things from today, um, my husband left this morning. He took, he was going to take half a day off work because he was going, hi grandma. That's my grandma that just came on. <laughs> Good morning. Um, uh, pull it up. That's what I do for first hair. <laughs> it's, I have not figured out something to do. If it's hot out and humid at all, my hair just goes crazy. There's no product I can put in it. Nothing. I cannot wear it down in the summer. So it kind of stinks, but. Um, but yeah, my husband was going to take half the day off to go pick his parents up from the airport this morning. But then he decided to take the full day off so that when he gets back, he and I can go out and just spend the day, have like a little day date and do some Christmas shopping and things like that. So, um, I'm excited about that. But so he left this morning to go get them and he sends me a text. 
Okay, I might have to try that, John. Thank you. I love suggestions for things because, oh man, I could use it. Um, but yeah, so he texts me from the airport right about the time that I thought, you know, they would be getting in. And he's like, I screwed up. I thought they were coming in at 847. It's 947 that they're coming in. So I'm like, what? He always like gets things wrong. It's kind of comical. Like, I'm like, you make me feel better about myself and the weird things I do because, oh my goodness. But so he got stuck at the uh, airport for an extra hour, but that's okay. So when he gets home, we'll go. Um, can you get it at like Ulta or something? I wonder even sometimes at TJ Maxx if you could find. Oh, this is the palette I'm using, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. I think I'm just going to go something kind of simple today because, I don't know, because I just feel like it. I don't really know what I want to do. We shall see. Okay, Marshalls and TJ Maxx have it. That's what I wondered. Those are great places to look for those kind of products. Oh, that's way more than I wanted to get. Um, because then they're usually less expensive, which is nice. And I'm actually going to TJ Maxx today. Now that we're talking about it, I want to get some things I have, or things I have. I want to get some things I have. Yeah, that made sense. Um, I want to get some stuff for some things I have coming up. I guess is maybe what I was trying to say. So. And I just like going in there and it's kind of dangerous though because there's so many cute things and then I and I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby I'm gonna drag my husband to all of those places he actually doesn't even complain about it at all my son was complaining the one day because his girlfriend wanted to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like I'll just take her and he's like oh whatever and my husband's like we have like date nights to Hobby Lobby like it's not that bad of a store I can think of a lot worse ones he's like at least there's some stuff I can like walk around and look at in there like as opposed to like a women's clothing store you know so He's always been very good about going shopping with me, not complaining. He actually plans shopping days for me, like for my birthday and stuff. Like he plans to take me out the whole day shopping. So that is awesome. He was so cute yesterday. I was getting ready for work or I was getting ready to walk out the door actually. And um, he just stopped and looked at me and he goes, you look like you're 35. And I was like, okay. And he goes, like, I look at you all the time, but I don't look at you from, like, what other people must look at you and think. And he's like, you totally look like you're 35. And he's like, and you're just beautiful. And I'm like, oh, thank you. He's, like, amazing. <laughs> so that was sweet and made my day as I was heading out the door because I was not looking forward. Bye, Sherry. I'm so glad that you got to stop by. Thank you. He is amazing. He's, like, I don't know. He's just awesome. And... Always so, like, just complimentary and sweet and thoughtful. I'm very blessed to have a husband like him. And so that kind of cracked me up and put me in a good mood for heading out on a day when my family's home. I hate having to work when I know my family is all at home. Like, that's the only thing that I don't like. Like, I work retail, so my schedule's all over the place. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to it. However, my manager is amazing and when I need things off and stuff she like always makes sure I get it so I really can't complain um but it's still hard to leave the house when you know your whole family's there and like you just kind of want to stay home and hang out with them so he put me in a good mood for that and then I felt so bad I went on my break yesterday and um it was just a half hour break and the girl I was working with ended up getting like kind of swamped I think my husband's home so he's gonna hear me talking he might come in here um, and she called me out, like, to clock back in to, um, help her for a minute and stuff. So I did that and went back in the office and then she called me out again and I did it again. So I went back in and then, um, when I came out, he is one in a million, Grandma. You are right. Yeah, I can see getting bored with the same nine to five. I actually don't mind it because I get to see kind of different people because, you know, different people come in always the same times of the day. It was actually kind of funny because for a while I was working just mornings and there's this mom and son who come in all the time that um, when I worked nights, I would see them all the time. Well, I hadn't seen them in like a month and I was at work one night and they came in and they're like, we thought you didn't work here anymore. I'm like, no, it's just I've been working mornings. So I do kind of like that because it gets, you know, gives you the chance to like see different people. Um, so that is nice. But uh, yeah, so then... My son texts me, and I have an Apple Watch, so I can see, like, when someone texts me. And um, 
I looked and he's like, I came to visit you, but I didn't see you. And I'm like, what? Like, why didn't you ask for me? I was on break. Turns out when I came out for the last time to clock back in, my assistant manager who I was working with came out and she's like, Hey, I'm going to step outside for a second. I'm like, okay, cool. And she went out because my son's like, yeah, I went in and I only saw that girl you were working with. I didn't know if I should ask for you or not. And I'm like, of course you can. And he's like, and then, um, right after I got out to my car, she came outside and I was like, that's because I had just walked back out. <laughs> like, so he just missed me, but I thought it was so cute. He was coming up just to visit me. Like, how cute is that? So that was kind of nice. Are you home, Brian? I heard a door. So if it's not him, that's just creepy. He's probably cleaning out the car or something since we're going to go out for the day. I kind of made a list of people I need to buy for and that kind of stuff and have some ideas of things I want for people. Um, but nothing like real concrete. <laughs> yeah, it was so cute. It's so nice to be loved. My boys, you know, I always pictured that I would have girls. I have two sisters. Um, when my youngest sister, so my one sister is two years younger than me. Hi, Heather. And, um, the other one is nine years younger. And the one who's nine years younger, when she was, um, little, my mom went back to work. And, um, so... I would like do her hair and dress her up and stuff. She was like, you know, my little doll, even though I wanted to strangle her a lot of the time. <laughs> but, um, and so it's like, I always pictured, like my mom would call and be like, oh, when I get home from work, we're going somewhere. Like, will you make sure Dylan's ready? And, um, and she got the best name too. I'm Dana. I'm Dana. Oh my gosh. I'm Danielle. <laughs> my other sister is Dana and then Dylan. Um, that was hilarious. I'm Dana. Wow. What it is. Um, but anyway, so my mom would, you know, ask me to get her ready. And so I really cool ways and stuff, like all these, like different kinds of braids and different stuff. And man, if we had had YouTube back then and could look up different hairstyle tutorials, that would have been awesome. But anyway, we would go out places and people would like be like, oh my gosh, her hair, like, you know, and stuff. And I was felt so proud because I did it, you know. And um, I always pictured that I would have girls and I would be doing little girls hair and dressing them up all cute and my first baby was a boy and all right cool like I was excited for my dad because it's his first grandchild and he finally gets a boy since all he had was girls you know so that was cool second baby comes along another boy awesome but okay yeah whatever like great <laughs> so then the third one I'm like oh this is probably gonna be a girl finally you know nope Asher Asher's a boy and now, like, well, not even now, it's been for a long time I've realized this. God knew exactly what he was doing by giving me boys because if I had girls, it already takes me long enough to get out of the house. If I had girls, we would never get out of here, like, ever. I mean, because there's no way I would step out the door without my girl's hair being all done and I'm being dressed cute. Like, that's just the way it is. Boys are the best, I have to say. I am so thankful that I have boys because they are very um, protective of me and... Um, just very loving and sweet and they support like me doing YouTube so much. They tell their friends about it. They're like, you know, like, cause I kind of thought, oh, they'll probably be embarrassed, you know, and not at all. They're so amazing and I'm so thankful for them. So I'm like, I know God knows what's best, but you know, sometimes you just have to stop and think. I'm like, oh yes, I see why you gave me boys. <laughs> so I am thankful for that. There's just something about like, um, like a mother and son bond. Well, and I mean, there is about daughters and moms too. I don't mean that, but there's just, I'm very thankful to experience that because my boys are just awesome and they'll act like, like my youngest will still come up and like, you know, hug me and stuff or like come and lean on me on the couch or something. He's, he just turned 14 and then my middle son, he will like act like, uh, if you come over to hug him sometimes and stuff. <laughs> Heather, I mean, seriously, it would cost me so much money if I had a girl and we'd never get out of here. But, um, but he, if I go to hug him, he will let me hug him for half an hour straight if I wanted to. Like he, I know he loves it. He just acts like he doesn't. That's the thing too. I'm like, what if I got girls and they were so not girly and I'd be like, but no, like I wanted to do your hair and dress you up. So that's so true. You never know. Everybody's got their own personality. It's not what we think it's going to be, right? Oh, that's good. That is good. And see, and now I have so much fun because, like, 
um, I have all nieces, I, like my sisters only have girls. And so um, I get to buy for their girls, so that's really fun. And then um, on my husband's side of the family, it's all boys and Am I back? Can you see me? Like disconnected for some reason. Let me know if, if I'm where you can see and hear me. That's so funny. It's funny how that happens. Girls definitely dominate my, you know, like between my sisters and our side of the family. Like, cause, um, my one sister just has one daughter and then my other sister has a daughter who is, um, just a little bit younger than my youngest. And then she has twin girls too. So who will be eight this week. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I definitely am thankful for the boys and just their, they take good care of me and they're sweet to me. And my oldest one, like for a while he went through a period where it was like, he would make me mad sometimes because he'd be like rushing out the door for work and I'm like, uh, you give me a hug before you leave and he'd be like, I don't have time. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you don't ever not have time to hug people, you know? And um, now he's gotten so much better about that kind of stuff. He's going to be 21 at the end of February, so it's about time. Like, grow up a little bit, you know. That's that's normal, though, I think. You kind of go through that stage of where everything's about you. I think we all kind of go through that, so. But, yeah, he's really good and likes being at family stuff and all that. And his girlfriend is the sweetest. And that's what I was going to say, too. Now I get to buy for her, and she loves makeup and stuff. Um, so that is really fun, and we get to talk about makeup and all that kind of stuff. So it's fun to have her around and be able to do that. All right, I'm gonna do my face makeup. This is gonna take me forever to get ready because I'm talking, so I'm like, you know, not really thinking. I talk during a video and do makeup, but I don't know, it's just different. Well, I think because I'm trying to pay attention like when you guys say something so I can answer you back. I will, Grandma, thank you. I already got your presents, so I'm not shopping for you today. <laughs> And like I love that my grandma's super supportive of my channel and um, it's been a cool way since my cousin Debbie Nablack that I'm sure most of you have heard of. Um, since she's on here that's my grandma's niece and so um, she's been able to watch her and stuff so that has been super cool. Oh yeah I, I'm like it's my job as a parent to embarrass you. <laughs> But the funny thing is, like, my middle son, he doesn't get embarrassed by it. He'll just, like, go with it. So it's pretty funny. But something I always loved when my oldest, he always played soccer and basketball and stuff. He, when he would be out on the court or on the field, he would always look over at me and, like, point and make faces and stuff. And, like, just do special little things, like, with me. And, um, like, that was something so special to me that I loved. And then, like, my um, middle son, like... When he would get done from like a band performance or something like he'd come right over you know to me or i mean to me and my husband and stuff too but like there's just always been like that bond never like that um you know like get away from me kind of thing and like my kids it cracks me up um at church a couple weeks ago we were doing our like packing boxes for operation christmas child and so we get there and you know the different age groups break up into different areas to be able to um help the little kids do stuff so my youngest is over by me talking to me whatever I'm like go by your table where you're supposed to be <laughs> you know whatever and so the one guy that's one of his leaders is like quit harassing your mom whatever or quit harassing the help he said because I was helping at a table too and um and so we're kind of laughing and then Riley's over by so Asher's my youngest and Riley's my middle son so then Riley's over by me talking to me harassing me Riley is just like my dad it's the weirdest thing ever he's built just like him he's it's the strangest thing he looks a lot like my dad and um he loves to harass people like my dad does and so same thing he's always over doing something weird to me like I don't know and um so he's over doing that and I'm like would you guys get away from me like you're with me at home like why do you <laughs> it's so funny but at the same time I love that my kids want to be by me is it you have a son too oh yeah you said a son oh cool i know it seems crazy to have kids so old Ugh. but at the same time i'm happy about it like i'm ready i'm happy to be at the stage of life i guess i'm glad i don't have young like i look at my sisters and 
their youngest are eight, you know, and uh, I'm like, no, nope, I'm glad I'm done with elementary school and, and middle school. I mean, my youngest is a freshman and so and my middle son's a senior this year. So it's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad to be done with that kind of stuff. I felt like there was so much homework and stuff in elementary school. Like I feel like it was way worse than middle school or anything. Oh, screaming. Yep. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Like, you just, I don't know. It's it's so awesome to have families like that where you're close to each other and you enjoy spending time together. And, like, I feel so bad for people who, you know, their families just fight all the time and don't enjoy spending time together. Like, we play games together. We do, like, I don't know. I just, I love it. This dang. Both of my Koki Cosmetics, um concealers I love the concealer but both of the caps have broken and it's really annoying I don't understand it like they crack here and then they come apart from the like inner part I don't know do any of you have those did they do that I got them well I got one in Ipsy and then someone sent me one from her Ipsy and they both have done that so it's so weird it's not like I'm hard on my makeup oh yes all children have their moments this is true well so do we right <laughs> I know I definitely have my moments. I was just talking yesterday to um, the girl I was working with about how like there's days where I'll tell my family like I'm super irritable today. I'm sorry. I don't know why but like you might just want to avoid me kind of thing. And I'm like and they're pretty good about it. And she's like oh not my family. If they know that they try to bother me more. I'm like oh no. That's kind of funny. Oh my gosh this is so annoying. But yeah. I thoroughly enjoy my family they're they're fun and I love like even just the other day we went my oldest son was up north with his girlfriend but um my other two were um with us and we went to my mom and dad's and just my one sister was there because my other one was busy but we um went over to help my mom like put up and decorate her tree and everything because this Saturday is Christmas tree day <laughs> Um, it's always the Saturday after Thanksgiving and all my aunts and uncles and cousins and everybody come over to my mom and dad's and we used to all go to the Christmas tree farm together. That's why it's called Christmas tree day. But, um, since then pretty much everyone has artificial trees now. So, um, we still do the get together though. So that's really fun. But so my mom had originally told me cause she was over at our house last weekend, um, that she was going to wait and put up her tree after Christmas tree day and I was like no and it was funny because she was talking about where she was going to put it and I'm like mom that doesn't seem like that's going to work out very well like that's going to be really uncomfortable she's like well and um so after she left we were kind of talking about it and my <laughs> and Asher goes no she can't put the tree there that'll ruin my whole Christmas he's like I want Christmas the way I'm used to it <laughs> so I was cracking up so I texted her that and she's like oh geez you know whatever and I said, and Brian's upset that you were talking about not putting the tree up until after Christmas tree day. And she's like, you guys are putting so much pressure on me. And so I'm like laughing. Well, so then she had like jokingly said, do you guys want to come over and help me decorate? And she, she was trying to get us to come over, but that was totally good. And so um, my sister and I are like, yeah, we'll come. And like I said, my other sister already had plans, so she couldn't. But um, so we went over there on Saturday and just helped her decorate and stuff and we were just hanging out and my dad and the boys went and got some firewood and um did some stuff together too so that's fun too that then they kind of do their thing us girls do our thing and and then we all sat and like watched some stuff together and um just had a lot of fun and I love that about family like our family is very close we do a lot together I will take any opportunity that's, I put mine up a few weeks ago because I was like, no, I love having my tree up and the time goes by so fast and it's so much work putting it all up too. So I'm like, I want to be able to enjoy it for as long as I can. I don't get like people who put it up on Christmas Eve and then take it down on Christmas Day. Like I've known people like, what, what are you doing? Like for one, that's way too much work for such a short amount of time. And for two, I just don't get it. I don't know. I just don't get it. Like, if that was a tradition in my family, I'd be breaking it, because no. <laughs> like, that's not even fun. But, yeah, we had a lot of fun just hanging out. My mom made us steaks for dinner. Steak and baked potatoes and salad. So that was awesome. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, we'll come over and help you decorate. Oh, no. 
Heather, why? I know, John, I've seen that, that the sooner you decorate, the happier you are. And I believe it. Like, it brings me so much joy. And people get, like, angry about it. I'm like, why do you care? If it makes me happy, it's my house. Like, and, yeah, like, actually, um, my best friend was so funny because I'm like that about snow, too. Like, I love snow. And people get, like, angry about how much I like snow, which I think is so strange. And especially, like, people complain about it. Like, we live in Michigan. It snows here. Like, if I, you can't really complain about it. I don't know. I just think it's strange. But anyway, so um, my friend, I was saying something about the snow, like putting posts on um, Instagram and stuff about how excited I was about it. And my best friend's like, I'm following you in three, two, one, whatever. And I told her, I go, I can't hear your negativity. My joy is too loud. <laughs> and she was laughing. But seriously, like, the thing is too, like, okay, it's going to snow. You can be miserable and grouchy about it, or you can just be like, well, it is pretty, and you know what I mean? Like, it's all about your attitude. You choose your attitude about things, and so I always think it's strange when people get, like, irritated that people put their trees up or whatever, you know? It's like, why, why does that bother you? That's strange to me. Like, I mean, I think it's weird if you just wait till Christmas Eve to put your tree up, but it doesn't bother me. Like, that's your thing. Ooh, yeah, I can understand then, Heather. I wouldn't want to mess with that either. We have no snow right now. It's been, today, 50. Is it eating? Because it's, I was like, oh, I want to wear, like, a big fluffy scarf. I want to wear, like, one of my cute coats. Like, I was just in the mood to, like, you know, dress wintry only. Mm, no, the weather is like, oh no, just kidding. It's like spring. Ugh, because all our snow melted and so everything's just like wet and yucky. That's the thing too. I'm like, okay, like when it is cold, wouldn't you rather there be snow than it just be cold and yucky and brown outside in the winter? I hate that. Like at least the snow is pretty. And if it's not like continuously snowing where it like just keeps messing up the roads and it's just where it's like pretty on the ground, why does that bother people? I don't really understand. Like, it's winter. It's going to be cold anyway, so it might as well be pretty and cold. And I love when it's, like, when the sun shines on it and it's, like, diamonds on the ground. That's my favorite. But I think people just genu genuinely, if you, or generally, if you're, that's what I meant, generally. <laughs> um, yes. I think if you're just unhappy, like, you find things to be unhappy about, you know, kind of thing. So, um, I don't really think too much of it if people are like you're ridiculous like okay I'm ridiculous then but I'm over here being happy and ridiculous so I don't really care like I do get that where people are like like think my little tree that I decorate for all of the different seasons well I shouldn't say all the different seasons I do a Halloween a fall I make it another little Christmas tree and then I make it a winter tree that I take down in like March and some people are like like act like that's ridiculous I'm like Again, I'm not really sure how it bothers you, but all right. And it makes me happy, so. See, this is what I love about YouTube. Like, how funny. I didn't realize that about you, Jen. So, like, that's neat to hear that you worked in that kind of field. And then there's somebody with an issue like that that you can talk to. That's like how um, Anya Stamper and I have become friends through YouTube and then my cousin Debbie he has um Durkham's disease which is a very rare disease and then um she and Anya became friends through me that's so cool and turns out Anya ended up being um diagnosed with Durkham's disease like how weird because it's super super rare so like to have two people like that be diagnosed with it and like they were brought together because Oh yay! I know. Aren't they so pretty? They're just so cute and different, I think. Like, I love it. Oh, that's so fun to hear. I know, there's so many essential oil things I want. I already have my... I have... My video will go up tomorrow with my essential rewards order for November, so you'll see the stuff I got for November. But I already have my list pretty much made for my December order. I'm trying to decide because I'm trying to tweak it a little bit and decide what I need now or what I can wait for. But there's things I'm making some stuff for people, so there's certain oils I need for that. But, um, other than that, it's mostly just things I want. <laughs> I love oils. 
today I put um, eucalyptus, radiata, and um, a washcloth, like a wet washcloth, and threw it like on the floor of the tub um, where the shower wasn't hitting it because I've had like this congestion. It's been going on three weeks. I don't know what's going on with it. Today was the best it's been. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that helped a lot. It smelled so good too. Hello. Thank you. France. How fancy. I would love to get there someday. <laughs> fancy. I just, you know, France in my mind is fancy. I would love to be able to visit someday. That would be so cool. What's the weather like there? I feel like I don't know anything. Like, sometimes I feel very ignorant to, like, things that go on around the world. But that's what I like about hearing different people's, um, you know, traditions and stuff. Like, it's cool to hear the different things that people do. We just get so used to what our stuff is that, like, we forget there's totally different, you know, traditions and stuff in different places. Or even here, like, people have different traditions. Like... I'm so thankful, like, my family, um, my cousins and stuff, we are all extremely close. Um, we talk about, like, we called each other brothers and sisters that grew up in different homes. Oh, I hope so, too. Yeah. I've been very fortunate, um, since having my thyroid removed. Hi, Mandy! Yay! I'm so excited. How are you doing, girl? I feel so behind on everyone's videos. I feel so terrible. And that's kind of why today I was like, oh, I'm just going to do a live while I'm getting ready because it's like, I didn't want to just sit and record doing my look, like, whatever. Like, I'd rather talk to you guys. Plus, I just did, like, a chatty get ready with me video the other day, so. But today I'm not being whiny like I was in that one. Or maybe I am and I just don't realize it. <laughs> But guess what? I do not watch my videos back like that, so I'm certainly not going to go back and look. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm so thankful they took my whole thyroid and then um, some lymph nodes around it, but the lymph nodes were all clear and the cancer was all encapsulated in the nodules, so thankfully it did not spread anywhere. And I have felt better over these past three years than I have in probably since I was like a teenager. Like I had issues that kind of like realizing later some back to thyroid stuff, but just it was never diagnosed. So uh, I hope they figure things out, Heather. That's scary. I'm doing a very, yes, I actually have a video up um, on it, so you want to look back for that but I kind of tell my story of what happened yep yeah here's my scar so yeah it was three years ago in July at the end of July so and I feel fantastic um I have all sorts of hormone issue stuff too so I did hormone testing I take like a low dose progesterone every night and stuff yeah for sure um I take um NP thyroid <clears throat> um, twice a day, so once in the morning and once in the evening. Oh, that's okay, Mandy. I don't expect. I'm like, Mondays are a weird, like, and especially in the morning. Like, if people work, I mean, I can't really expect. Um, I always did have weight problems. I had such a hard time. I'm thinner now than I have, than I, I'm like the weight I was when I was in high school now, or like when I was like 19. So, um, yeah, I'm very thankful for that because I struggled for a very long time with my weight and it was very frustrating. Um, if you saw pictures of me, whoa, like, I've changed a ton. Actually, I think, I'm trying to think, I think I did a video with pictures of my husband and I, like, on our anniversary, and I showed, like, pictures from over the years, I'm pretty sure, and, um, so it would be for my anniversary this year in June, um, and, like, I look like a different person, like, I was very heavy for many, many years. Oh, thank you. Aren't they so cute? I was like, okay, I have to have Rudolph and Clarice. Like, no. Like, this is not even an option. Um, 
I, okay, well, one of the things that helps with my weight is I cut out, first I had cut out dairy because I have migraines really bad and headaches. I had headaches like most of the day, I mean, probably four or five days a week and I get migraines that are hormonal. And so someone had suggested to me, why don't you try cutting out dairy because sometimes it's a trigger of like migraines and stuff. Well, I still get my migraines, but I like never have a headache. I hardly ever have a headache anymore. So I cut that out before my surgery, like the March before my surgery, um, I cut out dairy. And then I also cut out gluten because um, my doctor had told me that gluten can mess with your thyroid stuff too. So I have been gluten and dairy free since March of 2016. And that obviously makes a big difference because it changes the way you're eating. So, oh, my hair is just terrible today. It's just stringy and bleh. Um, but yes, that has been a major help to my weight. So I had lost some weight before I got the surgery, but after the surgery, it like came off quick. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also had cystic acne on my jawline really bad and it would get it on my neck. It was terrible. And um, once I cut out dairy, after like a few weeks, I started noticing I wasn't really getting the acne anymore. And now I like never, I mean, I very rarely get like acne somewhere and never like those cystic ones. Yeah. So that has been a huge help in, you know, changing some of that stuff for me. So I'm very thankful for that because I struggled with the weight thing for a very long time and it was extremely frustrating. I just totally spit. I spit a lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think weight is one of the most annoying things that we have to deal with. Like, it's so frustrating that some people can like seemingly eat whatever they want and whatever and like don't gain any weight and then other people it's like you have to work so hard at it um right now I need to I'm only four pounds up from like what the place was that I've been sitting over the past few years pretty much but I feel awful and it's because I haven't been working out and stuff so everything got like soft and ugh. so I need to get back into working out and I find that um like light strength training type things and Pilates, that kind of stuff works much better for me than like cardio type workouts. Those don't, I would like kill myself trying to get, you know, lose weight by doing that kind of stuff and it never worked. So I definitely have um, switched over to doing more of like a strength training and Pilates, like using your own body weight, that kind of stuff type workouts definitely seem to work much better for me. I feel stronger and I, um, you know, get more firm and slim down. I know, it's total crap, isn't it? I'm like, seriously, don't complain about anything because you don't even know. <laughs> I know, guys are guys are pretty lucky in that token. But at the same time, I'm like, I think it'd be so boring to be a guy. Like, their clothes are boring to me. Like, I mean, I know some guys wear makeup, but most don't. And like, I just, there's so many more options when you're a girl as far as hair and yeah, I'm thankful I'm a girl. I think I think being a guy would be boring. But maybe that's just because I am a girl and so I don't know the difference. I would like to, um, oh me, what did I ask Santa for? Um, well, I really want some of the ColourPop, um, like the eyeliners, gel eyeliners, because I love like a colored liner in your waterline to just like make your look pop so you can use like do like a really simple eye but then do that and it makes it really fun so that's one thing um i also would really love the other two like the newest i mean they're not brand new but um the palettes and the kleidos makeup um set i got the three the futurism palettes that were like a bundle of three and then they came out with two other ones later so i would love to have those and then I want, I kind of, I'm showing my husband like on Amazon, I want um, this cool like rack for my essential oils so I can have it on my, because right now they're all on my kitchen counter, but it's kind of obnoxious like, and so <laughs> this is not how the neckline of the sweater goes, but because my arms keep moving up, it's doing it, so. Um, but yeah, I want a cool like essential oil rack that I found. So that's something I want. I actually had a hard time, my mom, sent me a text. It's easier with my husband because like I'll send him links to things on Amazon or um, you know makeup website type things. But like my mom had texted me in the one day and she's like hey I'm out shopping what's something you want for Christmas? And I'm like Ugh. and so I'm like oh I want a burgundy sweater 
So I told her that. So she's like, cardigan or regular sweater? I'm like, no, regular sweater. And she's like, um, preference on neckline? I'm like, nope. And so then this was hilarious because that was on like a Thursday or Friday. And then at church on that Sunday, I was talking to one of my friends and she had this gorgeous burgundy, like big, like cowl neck kind of sweater on. And I'm like, oh, I love your sweater so much. And I'm like, and she goes, oh, Kohl's. And I know my mom was shopping at Kohl's. So I'm like, if she ends up getting me the same sweater, it's going to be hilarious. I hope it is because it's gorgeous, but... Oh no, <laughs> Brian is awesome. Like today when we go out, cause I'm getting ready, we're gonna spend the day out um, Christmas shopping and stuff. Um, when I say I like things, he takes pictures of them, like when we're in the store. And so then he'll either like look on Amazon for them, you know, see if he can find it for cheaper because then he can get me more if he can find it for cheaper. And, um, or, you know, go back to the store and get it, that kind of thing. So that is something he started doing several years ago and it's really cool. <laughs> he is the sweetest. I thought, I swear I heard him come home, but maybe not. Like, I love that he pays so much attention to stuff like that. Cause he knows he'll forget. Like, I mean, I would too. And so that works out really good. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I'm so excited that you're here chatting. I was like, nobody's gonna come on here and whatever. I feel like I just look so blah today. I think it's because of my hair, it's driving me nuts. And then of course I usually do like brighter, um, or you know, I don't know, I guess more bold type eye looks, but I was like, I just want it to be something like smoky and pretty, sultry maybe, like the palette's called. But it's just not really, not really much for me here. I just feel like I look kind of boring. I know. Well, it's funny because sometimes I'm talking and I almost am forgetting that I'm doing a live. You can watch back when I said, I'm Dana, when I was saying the names of my sisters and I, hello, you weirdo. Like I would have totally, <laughs> well, maybe I wouldn't have edited that out actually, because I'm just a weirdo. So I usually don't edit out dumb stuff I say, but I was trying to say that I'm Danielle. My one sister is Dana and the other one's Delyn. And I, instead I said, I'm Dana, like a total ditz. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite stories. This is so funny. My sister Dana was went out on like a date with this guy or a couple dates with this guy when she was in college. And she said they went out this one night and he got talking about some ex or some girl that he went on a date with. And he was like, I just couldn't do it because her name was Nancy. And so he gets going on the scene and my sister starts laughing. And so he thinks, oh, she's like loving this. So he just keeps going. Yeah how can you date this girl who's Nancy? And he just keeps going on and on. Well, she's laughing so hard and he just thinks she thinks he's really funny. So when she finally could get the breath, she's like, my mom's name is Nancy because he was like just tearing apart the name Nancy. I mean, she wasn't like offended by it, but it was just funny. But he, I guess was like so embarrassed and then like, you know, try to backpedal. You can't backpedal from it. You've already been just talking about how much, like, it's okay that you don't like the name or like that it's not whatever, but it was just like the funniest thing. Like he just kept going because he thought that she just thought he was so funny, but really she was cracking up because she's like, you're totally ripping my mom's name right now. <laughs> It's so funny. Oh, there's so many things. I just did that recently. The assistant principal at the school that my husband works at and my kids go to, <laughs> we were standing talking to him at, I think it was the homecoming game or something. And he had his kids there running around and whatever. Like, and we're just talking and the cheerleaders were doing something. And I was so like, I'm going to be really honest. Cheerleading drives me nuts. I was a cheerleader, seventh, eighth and ninth grade. And then I stopped doing it. But I get like, I like the competitive cheer when they're more like acrobatic and doing stuff like that. Like, I think that's cool, but like cheering on sidelines, I just don't get it. Like, I just don't. And so the cheerleaders were doing something and it was something really obnoxious. I don't remember what it was. And I was like, oh gosh, like I just can't get into cheerleading. Like, it's just weird. And he's like, oh, my wife is a cheerleading coach. And I'm like, you know, like the moments where you're just like, shut up. Like, you don't have to say everything you're thinking, you know, but then I'm like, but no, I don't get it. Like, that's okay. You know, it, and it's not like I was like slamming it. It was just like, mm, I just don't get it. But so, yeah, that was awesome. I'm like, what a dork. Like, shut up, Danielle. <laughs> I think we all have those moments where you say stuff and you're like, yeah, like, just be quiet. <laughs> See, that's cool. Being the flyer. Now, when I was in high school, um, we went, 
to a very small school. Actually, it's the school that my husband works at and my kids go to now. And um, we could not do like um, lifts or anything. Like they wouldn't let us do, the biggest lift we could do is if someone was, you know, like knelt down and had their one knee up and you could stand on the girl's knees. Like that was all we could do. We couldn't fly, we couldn't do any of that stuff. So um, that was boring. So that stuff, I'm sorry, cause I know people hate seeing you do this uh, liner, but but I gotta finish getting ready. He is home, I can hear him. He's probably just staying over there so he doesn't bug me cause he can hear me. Hi, I'm doing a live. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he knows, so he is home, yay. He made it back. I'm alive. If you didn't hear earlier, he went to pick his parents up from the airport this morning and he screwed up on the time, so he was there an hour earlier than he needed to be. So that's what he does. No, it's not. I said you make me feel better about myself because you're like you screw up way more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> I just figured out what part of my problem is. I didn't do my eyebrows yet. That's part of it. Like your eyebrows totally frame your face. The stores are gonna close here in a minute if we don't. They are not. Be quiet. <laughs> well, thank you. You hear him telling me the stores are going to close if I don't hurry up. I'm trying to be pretty for you to take me out so you're not embarrassed. I appreciate that, dear. Thanks. Although I know it's not embarrassing for you. Aw, well you're nice. You're probably lying, but... I was just telling them how I... talked about cheerleading in front of Keith that I didn't get it and then he said his wife was a cheerleading coach. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Shush. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. There's so many things like that, though, where you're like... But then it's like, okay. Oh, actually, I'll talk about the one my husband did. Oh, so, great. yeah. <laughs> we uh, were at church camp. And we oh, were no, camped no. next to <laughs> this guy from our church. Church camp, he has people from all over the place. But we just happened to be next to somebody that went to our church. And super nice guy. He'd come over and helped us with stuff on our motorhome, whatever. Well, he started talking to my husband about the choir and whatever, like, oh, did you see the choir? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thanks, Mandy. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> um, so he started, this guy's telling him about the choir. Oh, did you see the choir performance? Blah, blah, blah. And Brian proceeds to say, I'm not really into that kind of music. And he's like, oh. Well, I'm in the choir, and I'm like, and I knew that, so I was like, oh my gosh, Brian, <laughs> like, he's just like, basically, like, this guy's all excited about, kind of, did you see the performance I was in, and I Brian's like, I'm not really into that kind of music. See who's standing in the choir. <laughs> oh, so funny. So, that was awesome. So, that was actually worse than me saying about the cheerleading thing. So, haha. -ha. Yeah. Okay. You win. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I think today I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. You want to hear all the places I'm dragging you? TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, Target. There's a Starbucks in Target, so you know that's happening. Um, we're going to go out to eat because I've got a gift card for Applebee's. We have to go get a toilet seat, so that'll be fun. That's like my highlight of the day. Oh, I just... My hair, you guys. I'm going to look like a drowned rat today while we're out. I may as well rain because it kind of already looks like my hair was in the rain anyway. I know. I haven't been in Hobby Lobby in a really long time, but there's kind of some specific things I'm looking for for um, something I'm trying to make for Christmas presents. So I'm like, ah, I need to go in there. But it's dangerous to go in there because then you're like, oh, I want this and this and this. And actually, I want to look at the trees because I would really like to after Christmas this year, get a good sale on a flocked Christmas tree. I just love them. I think they're so pretty. And we've had our artificial tree for, I don't even know how many years. It was when we still lived at our other house, and we've been here for, what, eight years? Almost nine, maybe? Eight and a half years? So, I mean, it's pretty old. And, I mean, it still looks pretty good, but I'm ready for something different, and I just love the look of a flocked tree. So I'm like, yes, I would like that, but I'm sure as heck not paying the prices for it and even black friday deals and stuff aren't quite what i'm looking for like i want cheaper than that and i actually got um our tree i did get it on black friday from meyer i think when i got it 
but um yeah I, it's funny because when I'm talking I'm like what else do I need to do to my face oh like mascara and stuff maybe Duh. actually I already curled my eyelashes but I forgot about it so better do it again for good measure <laughs> it's funny how when you talk it's like at work if somebody's like talking to me a lot while I'm like getting their change I'm thinking don't talk to me right now because you're probably not going to get the right change back like I don't know like <laughs> my brain sometimes like sometimes it's fine but then there'll be days where I'm just like I can't do like two things at once you know I did can you see my nose is shiny on the end <laughs> I actually remembered that part I don't do like really um blinding highlight like you can see it up here but I love the Essence Pure Nude highlight is my absolute favorite like I love it I need to find out if my um, son's girlfriend got it yet because she was asking me about like one that's more natural and doesn't have like chunky glitter yeah isn't it funny like once you know it's there it's like oh yeah but that's what I love about it because people are always like you're like your skin is like just glowing like I'm like yes it is it's highlight so I like that it's not like oh you got some shiny stuff all over your face you know what I'm saying but yeah if she hasn't gotten it yet I can get it for her for Christmas or something she watches my videos sometimes so Noelle if you just saw that sorry but it's so cheap that it would be a very small part of her present so it looks like this if you don't know but yeah I love that stuff oh. <laughs> that's so funny I do not own a single Jeffree Star product I do have to say my um uh, manager at work, who's basically my boss, um, she was just telling me that her daughter, who I think is 13, um, wants makeup. She's like, I don't even know where to begin. So she started talking to me. I'm like, I'm guessing that you can tell by my face when I come to work that I'm kind of makeup obsessed. She's like, you're the first person I'm going to ask about anything. That's cool. That's good to know. Well, her daughter wants, I think the conspiracy palette. And I'm not sure though. I know she said it was like a $52 palette, so I'm guessing that's what it is. Um, she's like, and something with lip kits, whatever. So I sent her a thing showing like what the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals are going to be for Jeffree Star. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's good. She can check that out. Um, but yeah, she'll just have to kind of see if she can get a good deal on something or whatever. And I actually today was going on and entering some... Um, giveaways for some of his palettes to try to win some to give her to give to her daughter because um we work retail it's not like we make a lot of money I mean obviously she makes more than me because she's a manager but um I know it would be very helpful if she was able to get it for free so I'm like I'm gonna try to win some for her and see see if I can because that would be really fun for me to be able to be like here I won this for you to give to your daughter like I love stuff like that. I love giving gifts, but I don't always, you know, or most of the time, don't have the money to be able to do it like I want to. Oh, thank you. Um, but, so if that's a way I could help her and get it for her, that would be really fun, I think. So that would be cool. I love, there's been a couple times where I've won things and I'm entering because I'm trying to win it for somebody else. Like, like I've got a lot of beautiful makeup and trust me, I want a lot more, but, um, Sometimes it's like, you know, somebody would really like a certain thing and it's like so much more fun for me to be able to give it to them than to keep it for myself. So that's really fun. That's, I love Christmas so much because I love giving gifts to people. But I love giving gifts to people like throughout the year when, you know, like when you aren't expecting a gift, it's like, what? You know, like, okay, like that's super exciting. Did I enter, is it your um, 2K giveaway? I'm pretty sure I entered your 2k giveaway but if anyone watches this and sees they can go and check out your channel and subscribe to you and enter your giveaway okay I'm pretty sure I entered it right I'm pretty I swear I remember doing it I'll have to look back <laughs> my brain whoo like hmm. no all right well I think my makeup is done my hair I'm not even kidding it's driving me nuts it's so just stringy. I cannot believe I curled this twice today. Ooh, that makes it more fun. 
better chances. <laughs> I'm always down for that. And that's the thing too, like, you know, people will do giveaways and they give away like several things and maybe only a few of them are things that like, I know I really want, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I could give that to, you know, my sister, I could give that to my friend, like kind of thing. So that makes it super fun too, when people do like several items in a giveaway, which yours was, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember. Pretty, pretty sure. Yeah, it's perfect. And then it's cool too, because like I've had some friends send me things and be like, if you won't use this, give it away in a giveaway or whatever you want to do with it. So that's kind of nice too, because then it gives me an opportunity to be able to give away something that I might not have been able to otherwise. Like um, for, I'm stocking up stuff for when I hit um, 1.5K to be able to do a bigger one. And um, like there's one thing in there that is really awesome that I would be super excited about, except for I have so many of like that type of thing. So I'm like, no, I'm going to save this and give it away as a giveaway. And um, so I'm really thankful that I have it to be able to give away, but it was something that someone just sent me a package. She's like, I have way too much stuff. Like, I'm gonna send you some stuff, just do what you want with it, kind of thing. So I think that's awesome and, and thankful to be able to do that. But I think I am going to go ahead. I've been on here for like an hour. So thank you guys so much for spending this time with me <laughs> and listening to me just ramble. And um, I'm gonna finish just getting ready real quick so that my husband and I can head out and enjoy the day. And yeah, I'm thankful he's back because I was getting nervous. Like, I mean, he was going to the Detroit Metro Airport to pick up his parents. So I never have a real fuzzy feeling when anyone's going to Detroit. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm glad he's back. Ooh, what are you cooking, Heather? I'm hungry. <laughs> like, we better go because I don't want to make it very long shopping if I don't eat something. I keep trying to make this dang enchilada casserole, but things keep happening where like we're not home or only some of us are gonna be home or whatever. And so I'm like, well, I'm not gonna make that when half of us aren't even here. And so I'm looking forward to making that, which we'll probably do, mm, not tomorrow, I work tomorrow night. Maybe I'll do it Wednesday. Mm, that sounds good. Except for I can't have bread or cheese. <laughs> well, I can have gluten-free bread, but. And I actually have found some um, like vegan cheese type stuff that is pretty good because usually I make um, pizzas without cheese. And um, so we had gone when we were in Tennessee to a pizza place that had like vegan cheese and she's like, do you want to try it? And so she brought a little cup over for us to just taste it first, see if we wanted it on the pizza. And it was really good. And so, I mean, it's different. It's like more creamy, not like stretchy like cheese I don't know how to stringy I guess or whatever but um so you only need a little bit because it can be too overwhelming because it's so creamy but um like it's so nice to be able to just put a little bit on like we made pizzas at home the other night and so I just put a little bit of that on and it helps your topping stay on a little easier because when there's no cheese they don't really stay still very well so you kind of have to eat it with a fork and knife but but yeah so all right I already said I was gonna leave and I just keep on talking I could just talk all day I could sit right here and just talk to you guys all day because you'd think I don't get to talk to anybody ever or something. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure my husband sometimes is like, oh my gosh, please stop talking. He never says it though, but I'm pretty sure sometimes he must be thinking it. But, all right, well, next time I come on, I'm going to talk about some things that have happened at work because I have some crazy things happen at work and I think it would be just fun to share with you guys. So that will be in my next live. But thank you guys so much for being here and chatting with me. I love you guys so much and this is so fun and so thank you. And um, I probably won't do a live again before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to you guys. I hope you enjoy time with family and just whatever you do. So thank you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.